Greetings everyone. The purpose of this video is to discuss and present the mini project in the subject of professional ethics in engineering. The title of this mini project is to shift or not to shift. This is done by myself Srividya and my classmate Sai Chandana. This mini project is guided by Dr. N. Vinny Anthony Grace, M.E. Ph.D. Associate Professor, Department of Electronics and Instrumentation Engineering, RMD Engineering College. Problem Statement A quality assurance engineer must decide whether or not to ship products that might be defective. Claire Bartlett Rachel works as a quality assurance engineer at a large electronics company. She is responsible for the final testing of a company server and is a part of a team which decides when new products will be shipped to distributors for sale. Rachel's company has a contract with another company which makes the chips which are incorporated into the servers Rachel company makes. The business model for this product is to release a new generation server approximately every six months, meaning Rachel has a limited time frame to conduct a quality control test because there is such a short amount of time between the release of each next new product. The quality and the assurance department cannot perform every single test on the server to ensure they are defect free. Rachel will not ship a product if there is any possibility that the server could malfunction and cause physical harm to the customer. She will ship a product that has a higher likelihood of failure resulting in data loss for the customer. Here, Rachel is confronted with a moral dilemma between releasing the product on time and conducting all quality control tests which takes more time to perform. Any engineer in their career will face these kind of problems in one point or the other. So before taking any further decision, the quality and assurance engineer is expected to know all the possibilities of actions that she could take. The quality and assurance engineer here is expected to weigh the pros and cons behind every decision and see if it is ethically right to take this decision. She must also consider the moral specification such as the safety of the product, reliability, easy maintenance and its user friendliness with environment before taking any such decision. In the first argument, we propose that even if the company decides to launch the product on time and not complete all the quality control tests, they could reduce the cost of the product. In this case, the cost of the product is reduced because the quality of the product is also reduced. This could be done by Rachel and her higher authorities after having a very uh, keen discussion. So in, we can see that the quality is compromised for early launch of this product. Even in this case, Rachel, the quality and assurance engineer, has to conduct the highly prioritized test which involves the safety of the customer and their data. So this scenario and this argument is bent towards being ethically right, but we can't say that it's a perfectly ethical, ethically right decision to make. Argument 2 If Rachel decides to solve the situation in a morally right manner, she could ask for the extension of the launch date of the product. Thereby, she can perform all the quality control tests which will give the customer a defect-free product. In case, if the competitors will launch the product earlier, however, being first does not always mean being the best. Though Rachel's company decided to delay the launch, their product will perform better and will not cause any fault to the customer. It is highly likely to be successful though launched late in the market. This scenario does not violate the code of ethics and is considered ethically right. However, the higher authorities of the company has to cooperate considering the benefits of this solution. When approaching her higher authorities with this idea, Rachel has to make and present a clear list of pros and cons of this decision in order to make them understand better.
the management team of the company should recognize the problem in quality and assurance department and consider increasing the workforce and infrastructure if they plan to complete all the tests in a very short amount of time. It may result time. in overloading of work and exhaustion in employees or in compromising the quality of the product. This type of work is not considered ethically right. Thank you.